Well, to anybody that's followed followed the channel at all, you'll know that we uh, one of the projects we've been working on this year is getting a, a handicapped friend, a hunter friend, back to hunting again. He hadn't been able to shoot or hunt for 11 years. And this year, a couple of us decided we've really got to get Gary back to back to doing a little deer hunting. So one of the projects, of course, in that process is trying to fig figure up a rifle, get, get a rifle to where he can shoot it, because he has almost no control over his hands or movement at all. So we've been working on that. Uh, there's several videos that I've got up in the process of what we've been doing. Well, we had, we come up with the idea of using uh, uh, one of these contraptions like this that, that goes on your rifle, on your scope, that you put a phone on. Put the phone on here. And you can, he don't have to have his eye up here in a critical position. He can just get where he can see his phone and see what he's aiming at. Well, that's all well and good. Well, that thing is... <laughs> uh, any of you watch, you know I've got this rifle really heavy. I mean, it is heavy. And, but anyway, uh, one of the, the deals that I've had on it is let me open it and get it out of the way here uh, when we got it all set up and I, we're going to just try the bolt come back and would hit this apparatus right here Oh no. So anyway, it was just lacked about a sixteenth of an inch clearing. So I had to take it, take this scope off and find a little bit higher mount, which is what I've done. Now it clears. And then you can clear all this apparatus, clear your phone, everything else, still operate the rifle. So what I gotta do now. <sighs> Is check the zero to see what might have happened to that zero by putting on a higher mount. Okay, now I've I've set up a target. I've set up a target out here at 100 yards, and I hope I'm not being overly op optimistic in doing that. I'm going to take this phone apparatus off of here. Adapter. Because when I had to put that higher ring on there, that higher set of rings, I don't know what that may have done to the zero. I hope I'm still on target. We'll see. Well, let's get our bench adjusted here. Yeah. By the way, <laughs> this rifle is heavy. <laughs> I've added seven pounds of lead to the stock trying to get the you know, Gary my buddy can't <laughs> he don't have much control so I'm trying to get the recoil of this 30 out 6 down as far as about as far as I can get it and by adding that weight to it I've got the recoil down to approximately that of a 222. Yep. Gotta go a little more.
Yeah, I can handle that. So, let's get, let's see what's going to happen. See where we're going. some ears on here. Okay. Let's just see where it's going. Look in the spot, let's go and see what we got. Well, those went, that one went high left, which you can't tell a whole block with just one shot, so. Let's see. Well, <laughs> unfortunately, it's about five inches high. About five inches high and an inch or more left. It should be two. Well, let's whoop, let's just see. Oh goodness! They go readers off. I can't. <laughs> won't be able to see anything here. That went down way too far. Hmm. 
Way too far. Don't you just love scopes when they never do what you tell them to do? Take it right just a little bit. All right. But it didn't go up. the right amount but it's still low now so I got to go up a little more Okay. 
That damn it. Yes. It's still low. Not bad, but I probably ought to leave it right there, but I ain't going to. Good sense, I would. <laughs> uh, since I don't have good sense, I'll try it again. <laughs> Go where I want you to go. That looks good. Two and a half inches high. Just a hair, just a hair left. So, let it rest there a minute. Let that thing rest, cool off a little bit. Then we'll fire another round through it. And then put that that adapter on it. That phone adapter. Try a shot that way. Let that barrel cool down. It got quite warm there. Let it cool down, then we'll try another couple shots. And I moved, <laughs> I moved sight again, of course. Move the move scope. Ah, uh, I don't like them close. I like them right where I want them. So. That costs me a lot of ammunition sometimes, but but if you know that you gun is exactly where you want it. It gives you all kinds of confidence. But, uh, a lot of people, I mean, they're <laughs> just amazed. At, I, I'm amazed at what some people think their gun's zeroed at. I mean, if it hits same hillside that they've got targets set on them, half of them's satisfied, you know. But if you want it two and a half inches high, then you want it two and a half inches high. If you want it three inches high, then it's three inches high. And it's got to be straight up and down. It's easy to get it within a few inches of where you want it, and, but it takes some doing to get it that last little bit. Scope, scopes don't do some necessarily do what you tell them to. And 
can be frustrating. You can get it close, but then trying to get that last half inch or inch can take more more shots and more shooting than it did to, to get it that close. Well, you can be off several feet and you can get it pretty close within just a few shots, but get it exactly where you want it. Takes a little bit of a little bit of shooting. That thing's still hot, so I'll let it set a while. That load is plenty accurate enough. The last two bullets are almost touching at 100 yards. So they're all hanging in there pretty close. It's plenty accurate enough. All I gotta do now is get it hitting exactly where I want it. And then try that apparatus by putting your, attaching your phone to your scope and see what we can do with that. Let's see. That barrel's cooling down now, so I believe I'll go ahead and try another shot here. See what we can do. A couple more here. <laughs> That's good. That is. This one just hangs in there. Then we'll call that done. Look through the spot and scope. That is plenty good. <laughs> plenty good, plenty good. I'm going to go up and set up another target. Then I'm going to attach the phone to the scope and we'll check that out. We've got gun zero. <laughs> now I gotta put this contraption that holds your phone back on. And this is this thing has worked pretty good so far, I think. Uh, I'll get it good and tight. Then I gotta get my phone mounted where I can see through the scope best. Yeah, gotta get it set on camera first. That's important. <laughs> Set it on camera.
Let me work on it a minute here. Okay, so we finally get this thing set up. <laughs> Let's see if I can possibly get off a shot here. <laughs> so put your ears on, girl. You here. And we'll try to do this. Do what? Sort of like what Gary's going to have to do. See how this is going to work. I don't know. Well, first shot's right in there. Let's see what we can do again. Where's my, where'd I put my little trigger stick? <laughs> Now, I don't know. I don't know how to this. Well, I forgot her <laughs> didn't get the <laughs> uh, the camera turned on there, but the last few shots have been really a good group with this apparatus anyway. So I get that on target best I can by moving the gun around with my hand here. Let me get it straightened up a little bit right there. Pulling it with the dowel rod. What happened? Oh, it would work better if I 
close the bolt. <laughs> Bone come hopping out of there. <laughs> Let me tell you, that works. That works. I got a four shot group up there that's actually right incredible. Okay. One last time. Okay. Now I get it. Zeroed, but, or not zeroed, but I get it on target. But of course, like anything else, moving the gun around. Then when I get it on target, put my little dowel rod in here, hold it on target with one hand, pull the dowel rod with the other. <laughs> the accuracy is is fantastic. Now I've got to fool with this thing enough to where it gets easier to line it up and hopefully get it in there tight enough to keep it from moving around. But right now, by golly, it's working good. I'm gonna go up there and get that target. Well, I'm telling you, this apparatus where you attach your phone to your rifle scope and this heavy, heavy, heavy rifle <laughs> that I've concocted, it's worked great. It's worked great. Let me uh, set this down just a minute and I'm going to show you the this is a seven shot group I just fired with it. That's seven shots at a hundred yards. <laughs> yeah, that's wonderful. That is actually, <laughs> I'm real pleased with that. So now I got to go load up some more, more ammo. Now we got to get Gary to shoot it. The principle and everything about it works. Now we just got to get Gary where he's comfortable with it. Like I said, he's, he has very limited mobility, very little, very limited use of uh, his extremities. So going to take us down to his house in the next few days and we're going to get Gary to working on it. <laughs> right now, I am super pleased with this phone attachment that attaches to you, to your, uh, to your scope, and the recoil is extremely mild. I just, I just held my hand loosely behind it. That's all. And so when we put it in Gary's uh, uh, wrist, that you kind of clamp it in, it's going to be just fine. <laughs> It's not going to kick him, and and with using the phone where you can stay back away from it, you're not going to get scope ring, you're not going to get anything. And if you get it on target, by golly, it'll shoot. 
It will shoot. That's, that's a, a test of that seven shot group over there. That's a good group. So anyway, when I get down to Gary's and we get him going, we'll check back in later. But right now, I'm going to call it quits for today and I am super pleased. We'll talk soon.